Mike Jarvis is a well-respected former high school coach and current college coach for Florida Atlantic University. Jarvis is only one of four college coaches in basketball history to win 100 games at three different Division I universities. While at Boston University, George Washington, and St. John's, Jarvis guided his teams to 18 wins or more, 15 out of 18 seasons. Coach Jarvis also was the successful coach at Cambridge Ridge and Latin High School, where he produced handouts Ramil Robinson and Patrick Ewing. At Cambridge Ridge and Latin, Jarvis won three consecutive state titles. Let's sit down and talk a moment with Coach Mike Jarvis. Well, first of all, um, you know, it probably wasn't until, Paul, I, I really uh, looked at the videos of the great shooters, and then I thought about the few great shooters that I had and remembered basically what they did, what made their shot more effective than most guys, what made their shot quicker than most guys. And to be honest with you, I didn't realize it until I really started to analyze it. It was that part we call the dip, the catch, and then dipping the ball, bringing the ball quickly down to the waist area, okay, and, and which would put us in a great position to get a great shot off quickly and also put us in a position to freeze the defender for possibly a drive or even a pass. So the dip is really uh, one of the key elements to having a quick and efficient and effective shot. Well, first of all, the sway and the sweep and sway. Um, you know, when, when, I mean, to me, it's like, you know, you try to make things simple, simple for, for me to understand, simple for the players to understand. And, you know, the sway. And I many times just really talk about the sway, whether it should, whether I should be saying sweep and sway, I will usually say sway. And when, 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 when I think of sway and I see the sway and I see the great players shoot, okay, what you notice is that when they take off and they go up to shoot, they don't come down and land on the same spot. They sway, they move forward. So if you start out, like I've, I've got a lot of guys I want to shoot threes, then I'm looking to see uh, if they start behind the three, are they ending up in front of the sweet three? If they are, then they're swaying, they're moving forward. And that, that, uh, that action, that, uh, that ability, that uh, technique, that fundamental of shooting is, uh, is, is essential. Just watch any of the great players. Watch, watch Ray Allen shoot. Watch Kobe Bryant shoot. Watch the best shooters in the world. Not only do they have great dips, but they got great sways. Well, first of all, it would be great if we could go through life, uh, business, um, you know, our marriage, uh, raising children and uh, not, not have to change. But the reality is change, if it's good, is necessary. Change for the sake of change, I think is foolish. Um, but what you've got to be at all times is you've got to always be open and receptive to the possibility of change. And when you see something that's different, but more effective, than what you've done. And right now we're talking about shooting. We're talking about uh, the body being turned so that it's almost like I'm, I, instead of shooting a basketball, I think of shooting dots so that I'm sh shooting square to the, to the center of my target. When I think about the dip, when I think about the sway, when I think about the follow through, and I refer to it as the pinch, okay, at the end of the shot, all of those things are little things and in many, many cases, it might mean that we have to adjust or alter one of those things, change just one of those things to get a player from maybe being a 20% three-point three point shooter to maybe being a 40 or a 45% free throw shooter. So change is good if it has purpose and meaning and you can also eventually see the results and the person that's shooting can see the results. Well, I tell you what, 
as you know, and I'm a firm believer, and I've always preached that defense wins championships. And I still believe that you have to play really great defense in order to win championships. But you also better be able to score, and you better be able to shoot. And especially in this day and age where, you know, uh, the game has had become, and I think it's going to change a lot with the, with the change in the emphasis on rules that are going to start this year in college basketball and hopefully trickle down. And that is that, that the, the NCAA wants more scoring. So the rules are going to basically get the defenders off their men so that they have, an, they have a chance to maybe get a mid-range or a three-point shot a lot more easily so that scores will start to go up. So, you know, shooting, I mean, can, I mean it's going to become even more critical. And, you know, yeah, as much as I think defense wins, and I know it does, uh, it, it wins a lot of championships, providing you can also put the ball in the basket. Because the end of the game, it's still about who scores the most points. So if you can help me and help my players uh, score maybe another, even it might be another five points a game, that might be the difference between winning and losing. So guess what? You better be able to score. In order to score, you better be able to shoot the basketball. And that starts, you know, I mean, I think it starts with layups, two most important shots, layups, free throws. Uh, but then, if you want to open up the floor and really be good, you better be able to make threes.